hey welcome back my name is sushant sutish and i am your trainer for azure data fundamentals dp900 certification course in this video we're going to explore data storage and processing in azure the most common options for processing data in azure include azure data bricks azure data factory azure synapse analytics and azure data lake so let me take you through these one by one what is azure synapse analytics azure synapse analytics is a generalized analytics service you can use it to read data from many sources process this data generate various analytics and models and save the results you can select between two technologies to process the data you can either use transact sql or spark let's look at what is azure data bricks azure data bricks is an analytics platform optimized for microsoft azure cloud services platform designed with the founders of apache spark data bricks is integrated with azure to provide one click setup streamlined workflows and an interactive workspace that enables collaboration between data scientists data engineers and business analysts Data bricks can process data held in many different types of storage including Azure Blob storage, Azure Data Lake store, Hadoop storage, flat files, databases and data warehouses. Data bricks can also process streaming data. And Data bricks uses an extensible architecture based on drivers. Let's understand what is Azure HD Insight. Azure HD Insight is a managed analytics service in the cloud. It's based on Apache Hadoop, a collection of open source tools and utilities that enable you to run processing tasks over large amounts of data. HD Insight uses a clustered model similar to that of a Synapse Analytics. HD Insight stores data using Azure Data Lake Storage, and you can use HD Insight to analyze. data using frameworks such as hadoop map reduce apache spark apache hive apache kafka apache storm r and more let's understand what is azure data factory azure data factory is a service that can ingest large amounts of raw unorganized data from relational and non relational systems and convert this data into meaningful information Data Factory provides a scalable and programmable ingestion engine that you can use to implement complex hybrid ETL and ELT and data integration projects. And what is Data Lake Store? Data Lake Store provides a file system that can store near limitless quantities of data. It uses a hierarchical organization and like the windows and linux file system but you can hold massive amounts of raw data and structured data it is optimized for analytics workloads azure data lake store is compatible with hadoop distributed file system or hdfs and you can run hadoop jobs using azure hd insight that can read and write data in data lake store efficiently let's explore azure synapse analytics Azure Synapse Analytics is an integrated analytics service that allows organizations to gain insights quickly from all their data at any hyperscale from both data warehouses and big data analytics systems. Azure Synapse is composed of following elements. The first is Azure Synapse SQL pool. This is a collection of servers running TSQL in a dialect of sql used by azure sql database and microsoft sql server then we have synapse spark pool this is a cluster of servers running apache spark to process data you write your data processing logic using one of the four supported language which is python scala sql and c sharp then we have synapse pipelines a synapse pipeline is a logical grouping of activities that together perform a task the activities in a pipeline define actions to perform on your data 
For example, you might use a copy activity to transform data from a source data set to a destination data set. Then we have a Synapse link. This component allows you to connect to Cosmos DB. You can use it to perform near real-time analytics over these operational data stored in a Cosmos DB database. And finally, we have Synapse Studio. This is a web user interface that enables data engineers to access all the Synapse Analytics tool. And you can use Synapse Studio to create SQL and Spark pools and define and run pipelines and configure links to external data sources. Alright, so that concludes this lesson. In the next video, we're going to learn about how to get started building with Power BI. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.